Hi everybody, it's me again, Dr. Kessler from Lorain County Community College. I have been studying viruses for 35 years and I'm here with my second video. Um, I want to tell you a little bit more about um, what happens next. Yesterday we talked about why we're doing some of the things that we're doing. We talked about the why. I want to go over some things that you can do to make things even better. Um, to help out your fellow citizens. And this is really about helping everybody out. That's what we're all trying to do here. I base a lot of what I'm talking about on a paper that appeared in the New England Journal of Medicine back in January. That paper was written by a group of physicians, mostly from China, from Wuhan City, where this originated. And they came up with a couple of interesting facts. For one, they figured out that it took about 5.2 days from the time you were exposed to the time that you actually developed the disease. Um, that can be important for us. Um, my background is uh, HIV. I'm an HIV virologist, and that one has an incubation period for of about 10 years before you show symptoms. This one shows symptoms in about five days. So what can you do as we are going into the storm here? And we are really going into the storm right now. Um, I just wanted to get you ready so that we all come out on the other side as best we can. Um, 5.2 days, if you get sick, what you can do is you can actually think about, well, where was I in the last five days? Where have I been? Who did I see? Who do I need to talk to? Who do I need to tell that maybe they should also establish a little social distance. Do not worry about who infected you. Don't make it a blame game. That really doesn't matter. There are, there are many cases out there, um, and I'll have a more to say about that in just a second. Um, so if you have any of these symptoms, um, and a fever especially, dry cough, after about, think about what happened in the last 5.2 days and try to help other people out. What I want to mention now is where are we? This data is uh, actually coming from uh, the American Society for Microbiology. You'll notice that there is two colors, red and blue. A couple weeks ago, there was only one place where there was a red, uh, uh, and that was China. Now, let's talk about how we figure out what's going on. There's a couple of points about this slide I'd like to make. Number one, the deaths. Um, and this is, by the way, yesterday's data. We're already, it's already out of date. There are 4,368 deaths as of uh, yesterday. The next line is, and I think I addressed this in the, the previous video, there's 121,000 people infected. That's wrong. I know that's wrong. Um, let me tell you about Ohio. Ohio has right now, and uh, I just was listening to the governor um, do his presentation, and he says there's five cases. I know there's more. There's definitely more. We have a lot of cases in Ohio. This virus has already seeded itself in this country, and we are about to be hit with a, a storm, and I want us to weather it and do very well. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, we're trying to get this social distancing in, uh, in shape so that you can not spread it to other people. Um, etc. I want to also show you some good news on this slide, and that is there are people listed as recovered, greater than half on here. But by the way, we think there's many more people than that um, infected. We think there's uh, uh, greater than 121,000 people infected. From those people, we know that there are 66,000 people infected. We are only beginning to start testing. Um, we here at the college have been trying to put together a test. Um, and uh, um, we are starting to get the government's test, the CDC's test is rolling out, so hopefully we'll have more of that pretty soon. Um, last thing I want to talk about is how we all fare out of this. And we all fare, I'll tell you this, pretty well. We have MERS. MERS, there are three coronaviruses on here. Three coronaviruses, there are many more coronavirus, but these are the three that we see in the human population right now at this moment. MERS stands for Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, and it has a fatality rate of about 34%. That's about a third of the people who get this virus succumb to this virus, which is pretty severe. The good news about it is that there are only 2,000 cases. It is poorly infectious. 
and we know that this is, and there are 858 deaths. So if you take the number of deaths divided by the number of cases, you come up with that 34%. We have been studying this guy since 2012. And so that particular, we have pretty good data on that. It's solid. SARS. SARS has been around since 2003. It is more infectious, but less deadly, 774 deaths. And that, is better, uh, and that gives you about almost a 10% fatality rate. This is from, also from China, MERS is from a camel. Um, this is from a bat. Uh, SARS is from a bat. COVID-19 is from a bat as well. And by the way, just a quick aside, there are over 400 coronaviruses in bats in China right now. And we've only got two here on this, uh, that, that have appeared in humans there may be more coming, but that's another day's problem. Um, let's talk about right now. Um, as I mentioned, um, this number here, 121,000 cases, is most certainly wrong. We have not got universal testing. Um, we don't have what, I, what we call antibody testing. Antibody testing is where you test for uh, whether you have ever been exposed to something, whereas uh, we have what we call antigen test or a PCR-based test where you're looking for nucleic acid about right now. So if I got COVID five weeks ago and got better, it would not show up on today's test. We need a, more, we need a better test and before we can actually assign the fatality rate. It most certainly will be lower than 3.6, um, what this is showing today. Um, so the good news is we're, we're all going to get through this we are trying to help out as many people. If you become sick, it's absolutely essential that you stay home um, and you stay home for the sake of other people, that you stay away from other people, especially you don't want to go visit your grandmother. Um, and we're trying to keep uh, as many grandmothers as we can out of the hospitals so maybe that grandma can make you some, make you some cookies. Last thing I want to say is uh, we have a, uh, I'm wearing one of my lab's hoodies, and I want to just tell you this, that uh, may you all, uh, I'm going to show you our lab motto. It's written on the back of my hoodie. Uh, may you all persist like a lentivirus, and stay well, everybody. Thank you.